Morning, Steve Freed in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Kind of a mixed tone with beans unchanged, corn down about a penny, wheat down about four cents. Outside markets, you got the dollar lower, you got crude lower, lower and gold and copper are higher. I guess some of the issues that uh, popped up over the weekend is everyone's watching the rains down in Texas and Harvey and what it's going to be doing. And the question was, is it going to disrupt any of our export activity, um, either there in the Texas area or maybe a little bit later in the area around the New Orleans area? Uh, right now, we don't think so. Um, it's kind of a minor point considering the loss of property and uh, the strain it's putting on people down there. But right now, it's not expected to impact uh, our export pace. From the export standpoint, we're expecting inspections to be around 22, 23 million bushels in the beans, maybe 22 in the corn, and maybe 20 in the wheat. So again, the corn export pace is pretty slow, and that's offering resistance uh, to the marketplace. Uh, China did come in and start buying beans, and we'll see if they start showing up on the export activity. There is also 67 million bushels of beans and 88 million bushels of corn sitting in Louisiana. Uh, we'll have to see if that gets harvested and if there's any disruption caused by Harvey moving um, in and out of the ocean and back into the Houston area and then maybe a little bit further east. As far as other news is concerned, the 11 to 16 day map for U.S. calls for normal to above temps, uh, precip, I'm sorry, and below normal temps. So we'll see if that um, helps the bean crop with a little bit of precip and if the lack of heat helps the corn crop mature. Uh, there is some chance of frost starting around September the 8th, so we'll have to kind of watch that pretty close for parts of the northern plains and northern Midwest. So we might be in a, still in a trading range as far as corn and beans are concerned. We continue to test the lower end of that range. Funds uh, added to their overall short positions in the grain. They're short 23 beans. Uh, short 37 corn and short 60 wheat now and so getting a little oversold but we don't see any uh, point for them to cover that short yet. Well, Eastern Australia had some frost freeze conditions. We'll have to watch conditions down there. Canada will be out with their 2017 crop estimates on Thursday and so we'll see just kind of how all this kind of plays out um, as far as money flow is concerned and as we gear up for the end of the month deliveries, um, any fund activity, and as we go into the September crop report. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services, and have a safe and profitable trading day.